down too many. Maybe you can see the my hand is shaking. <laughs> anyway. Yes, uh, good morning guys. Good morning, maybe afternoon. <laughs> My name is Apetri and uh, I'm from the OP, uh, OP1F class. Before I deliver a speech, you should have to know that I learned about some expressions, but not from PIA. Um, just I learned about from my church mate, not in PIA, okay? <clears throat> I, would like to, uh, I, I would like to warn you, uh, do not use the expression that you don't know, uh, you don't know, uh, totally understand. In my case, I usually made a mistake because of that. We are foreigners, so we have to appreciate two differences of uh, culture and shades of meaning. I'm very excited to present to you about my experiences in PIA. Frank, Frank experiences in PIA. I, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm very nervous because of that. First of all, I would like to say about the expression one one. Have you heard about uh, of one one? Yeah. The first time uh, when I heard about the one one from my church mate, uh, that time I just thought the meaning is just to say goodbye. Because, of, because um, three months ago, one of my church mates sent me a message after I met her. It expresses about some sound, and you can use that chup chup mama. <laughs> if you're a man and uh, use the expression to other people, uh, they think about you as a gay. <laughs> Please um, never use that ever. I'm sorry. The second is break leg. <clears throat> um, three months ago, I had uh, my last test, and that time is um, first time to take a test in PIA. Because of that, I felt very nervous. One of my teachers uh, told me break leg, but that time I thought that is break your leg. Anyway, th uh, that is of course. Uh, I heard totally a wrong way, in a wrong way. Now, I know the meaning, I'm really sorry, and uh, that time, I thought, uh, break your neck. Anyway, <clears throat> and um, actually, my pronunciation is not good, or so listening skill. Uh, I mean, uh, that time was very terrible. So, I think, um, because of that, they couldn't understand, I'm sure about that. Third is, uh, <laughs> Actually, um, I heard uh, from my church mate that time, I thought the meaning is just hello. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> the expression of the the is uh, when, um, when you know about the uh, answer, already, already know the answer, or uh, the answer is reasonable. And also, this um, expression is for a woman. Fourth is pangi. Maybe pangi? Maybe, uh, yeah. Because of that, um, my church mate, they taught me the meaning is pretty, but it is a opposite meaning, that means ugly. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What followed must be led to the imagination of the audience. <clears throat> One of the reasons uh, when it comes to expression, women are more flex flexible than men. Because of that, the uh, expression is um, divi divided into two parts, for men or for women. Another reason is the first is a difference in um, a difference of culture and uh, uh, language. So what well, is next time? When you tempted to tell, uh, when you tempted to tell someone that you have learned some expressions, but you don't know about the meaning exactly, uh, avoid uh, <clears throat> avoid using these those expressions. But actually, uh, user not each up to you. Thank you. Wow.